time. Excellent. It's been exactly 12 hours since we administered the drug. I trust your dreams were pleasant, big boss. What are you talking about? Now please drop the act. I know all about you, boss. Or would you prefer I called you... Naked Snake? Hmm. Sounds like you've got the right guy. Who are you? My name is Lieutenant Cunningham. Until four weeks ago, I was with the CIA. Cunningham? Fox Unit's interrogation specialist? Ah, so you have heard of me. I'm honored, Snake. And those guys who attacked me, they were Fox too? Yeah, although we'll leave it at that for now. What do you want from me? I'm retired from Fox. I'm guessing this isn't a social call or you wouldn't have brought the goons. Retired? Yeah, I suppose you are to the outside world. Don't worry. I'm not here to give you a new mission. I just want to ask you one simple question. Six years ago, as a member of Fox, you prevented a full-scale nuclear war. You were hailed as a true patriot, given the title of Big Boss by the President. And then you turned right around and quit the unit, threw aside your rank, your good name. Mysterious, don't you think? What did you see out there on your mission? What did you see in Grozny Grad? Where is the legacy? You mean the Philosopher's legacy? Yes, the secret cache of funds amassed by the Big Three during the Second World War. Where is it? If you're looking for the legacy, try the CIA. They're the ones who took it after the mission six years ago. Simply apply the right type of pain to the right degree at just the right location. It's always been my policy for persuasion, and I found it to be quite effective. The CIA only recovered half of the legacy from the Soviets after Operation Snake Eater. And you know where the other half went. The CIA... Only got half? You can drop the act. You defeated the boss and returned alive. So you must know where the other half of the legacy is. And now? You're gonna tell me, Snake? Don't have a clue. That's too bad. Because I'd hate to have to continue persuading you like this, comrade. No matter. We have plenty of time. Sooner or later, I'm sure it'll all come back to you. Wait. This isn't an official mission, is it? What happened to Major Zero? Tell me the truth, Cunningham. This is an official Fox mission. For now.
It is Snake. Or should I say, Big Boss? Are you the real deal? You know me? Are you kidding? You're a legend in the Black Ops world. Black Ops. What's a hero like you doing in a place like this? It beats me. I'd like to find out myself. Where are we anyway? Near the equator from the looks of it. If I had to guess, I'd say South America. You got it, Big Boss. The San Aronimo Peninsula, to be exact. Known to the locals as La Peninsula de los Muertos. The Peninsula of the Dead. It's off the coast of central Colombia, more or less directly south of Cuba. Never heard of it. You wouldn't have. It doesn't show up on any conventional maps. It's under Red Army control. The Red Army? In Colombia? In 1964, the Russians provided military aid to FARC, Colombia's biggest rebel faction. And in return, FARC gave them this land. 1964, the year of the virtuous mission. Two years prior, the Russians failed in their attempt to build an intermediate-range ballistic missile base in Cuba. Had they succeeded in deploying nuclear-equipped IRBMs inside Cuba, every major American city would have been within range. The Cuban Missile Crisis. Exactly. In the end, the Russians gave up on the idea of deploying missiles in Cuba. But rumor had it that they were looking for a new site, one where they could build a base in secret. And that place was the San Jeronimo Peninsula. Yeah. Well, not exactly. Apparently, the plans for this missile base were abandoned before it was built. Abandoned? Due to detente. Both the US and the Soviet Union are having trouble financing their enormous military budgets, and they can't afford to keep waging the Cold War like they did in the 60s. Last year, they began conducting the strategic arms limitation talks, with the goal of limiting each country's number of ballistic missiles. Meaning no more need to build a new missile base. Right. But as you can see, they'd already completed part of the facility. We were sent in to investigate what was going on. Before we could do that, they ambushed us. They, the Fox unit. My team was wiped out in the blink of an eye. I fear I'm the only survivor. What's the Fox unit doing in a Soviet base? Not a clue. I'd have expected you to know more about it than me. I'm not with Fox anymore. I see. Anyway, that's all I've got. All right. Hold on. I'll get you out of there. It's no use. I've tried over and over. You need a special key to unlock the cell door. Right now, you've got to get out of here. Head five clicks southeast of the detention center, and you should reach a communications base. I need you to call in a rescue, if you can. Rescue? You should be able to make contact with the states using the satellite uplink but the circuit will most likely be monitored. If only you could use some kind of encrypted transmission. Hmm. Someone capable of receiving an encrypted protocol that they can't listen in on. Any ideas? I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off, but there's one thing I could try. Great. I'm counting on you, big boss. Call me Snake. It's been an honor, Snake. The name's Campbell. Roy Campbell. Good luck.
A member of Fox named Gene betrayed the U.S. government and stole a top-secret weapon. He plans to use that weapon and the warheads in this base as bargaining chips to negotiate with your country. But blackmail is more like it. We're here to put a stop to it. Our mission is to free the soldiers of the San Geronimo Peninsula from Gene's control and capture the traitors in the Fox unit. I can understand if you're afraid of Fox. But we need others to help us free the Soviet soldiers on this peninsula. Will you join us? You're here to save us? And you want me to help you defeat Gene? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? You think he's been brainwashed? Brainwashed? Is that what you think is happening here? <sighs> A fine joke. But I'm afraid you two have it all wrong. Wrong? We didn't rebel because of Gene. Our country betrayed us first. We have stood guard over this godforsaken base, unable to reach our friends and loved ones because of the secrecy of our mission. The climate was brutal. The meals were meager. We watched as our comrades succumbed to disease or died fighting the Colombian government. And still we went on carrying out our mission. Believing our efforts were all for the good of the Motherland. And how did the Motherland reward us? By stabbing us in the back. You're talking about the Kremlin's policy shift. If the existence of this base came to light, the political fallout with the United States could fatally undermine Moscow's position in the strategic arms limitation talks that Brezhnev is promoting. That's why we have no use for political rationales. What matters to us? is that Mother Russia wiped this base from existence. And instead of allowing us to return home, the army erased all traces of communication and cut off our supplies. They sought to isolate the peninsula and make it look like this was all the work of a few out-of-control soldiers. We were abandoned by our own country. That's why you decided to follow Gene? Gene told us he would build us a nation. A nation not of soldiers, but for them. 
We do not follow Jean out of fear. He will deliver us justice. The only thing we fear is losing that justice. That's why we follow him, not you. You'll never be able to stop him. Justice, huh? The meaning of justice can change from one day to the next. A professional soldier never brings justice into the mission. The only ones who need a reason to fight are the ones who fight for a living. That's what my mentor told me. Politics are fickle. They change with the times. So long as we remain loyal to our countries, soldiers like us need nothing to believe in. She died out of loyalty. Not to justice. Not to her country. To herself. For the mission. Your mentor. The one who taught you the art of battle. Who was she? They called her the boss. I killed her. The boss? The legendary soldier? And Snake. You must be Big Boss. You're the hero who killed Colonel Volgan at Groznygrad. Hmm. Prove your loyalty as a soldier. That's what the boss told me. I still don't know what she meant. Prove your loyalty. Not to justice. Not to your country. But to yourself. Does Jean truly plan to threaten the Motherland? Yes. Snake procured documents from a patrol station that confirm as much. If launched from this base, the weapon Jean stole could deliver a devastating blow to every major city in Russia. I know it's hard to believe. No. I believe you. Not as a member of the Red Army, but as a soldier. I appreciate it. I will follow you. Snake, give me my mission.
Huh? What was that? Thank you.
Requesting backup. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements.
HQ. This is HQ. This is patrol. All clear. Understood. Return to your position. about going materials. Heading for a lab. Huh. Where are the escapees? Why haven't they been caught? If they get away, I promise you'll regret it. Enough of this. Call Python. Get him back here. happening to me.
What's his status? We're currently reinitializing his memory and readjusting his sensory nerves in the culture tank. By my estimate, it'll take another 12 hours, at least. Half a day? He has to be readjusted after each deployment. Not much better than a prototype, a test subject.
My apologies, sir. The culture fluid takes time to prepare. With such limited equipment and personnel, readjusting null isn't... I know. That's why I brought along a specialist. Chief? But... The escaped prisoners have yet to be found. This could be just the job for our perfect soldier. We'll roll out the tank as soon as the fluid's stabilized. Make all necessary preparations. Yes, sir. Commander. Yes, I know. Cunningham. Don't move. Huh? Ah! Lieutenant! Are you all right? We're fine. <gasps> Please forgive me, Commander. Are you hurt? Don't worry. Fate would never see me hurt. Now, lie still and try not to move. This man needs medical attention. I apologize for any sense of urgency. Please don't think for even a moment that I hold your work, or yourselves, in any but the highest of regards. This facility you are helping to build is absolutely vital to the strong roots of our new nation. But never forget that you, yourselves, are no less valuable a resource to that nation. A nation that will house the mightiest, most capable military ever seen by man. Warriors in their prime. We will end an era that sees soldiers discarded like tools and strike war from the menu of global politics. And it is you, soldiers, military engineers, who are her first citizens. Our nation's riches and its fighting spirit. I only pray that such priceless resources do not be sacrificed in vain. Did you read the sign? It says do not enter. <gasps> you. A kid. What are you doing here? I'm in charge. You? In charge? You there! Search upstairs! The rest of you, we'll sweep the prep chamber. This way, Snake. Hide there, in that locker. What? Just do it! What's going on here? The preparation chamber is for authorized personnel only. Miss Elisa, are you alone? Have you seen anything suspicious around here? No. Is there something wrong? We received a report that there's an intruder in the lab. Someone also reported seeing a suspicious truck nearby. Well, there's no one here. Just me. And him. You're disturbing his sleep. I'll have to ask you to leave. Yes, ma'am. If you see the intruder, please notify us immediately. Now I've seen it all. A little girl in charge of an outfit like this. Why did you help me? I don't know. I just got this feeling that I needed to. And how do you know my name? Are you with the Fox unit too? No. But your uniform... <laughs> it's... it's not like that. 
When I saw you with the heliport with Cunningham and the others... That was my sister. Sister? Her name is Ursula. She's the one who's a member of Fox. I'm just a medic. You're pretty young. Well, you were out on the battlefield when you were my age, weren't you, Snake? Or should I say, Big Boss? Um. Ursula and I were raised in an East German lab. They sent all the kids with ESP potential there to study them. My powers are pretty weak, but Ursula is different. She's one of the most powerful psychics in all the communist world. Through special training, Ursula gained great power, but in doing so lost everything that makes her human. So much so that she can't even talk with me anymore. Four years ago, Jean took us away from East Germany. He was on a mission from Fox. The CIA wanted to get its hands on ESP from the communist bloc. And then you joined his little revolution. Yes, that's right. So, this is what you were calling the perfect soldier. Does he have ESP too? No, he's just an ordinary human being. That is, he used to be. He was raised in a special way, under very special conditions, to be a great warrior. He's incapable of emotions, or doubts. He's the ultimate combatant, created with one purpose only, to accomplish the mission. He has no human memories. The only thing he has left are his skills in battle. No memories? Each time he completes a mission, he undergoes readjustment. Like this. Inside the culture tank, all five senses are shut out completely. Most men would go mad in minutes. Like a baby who's coming into the world for the first time, the perfect soldier's sensors are honed to a razor sharpness. He can read the enemy's movements and learn them faster than any normal person ever could. What kind of person could endure that kind of extreme training? Nobody, of course. The Perfect Soldier project ended in failure and was abandoned. He was the only success. That's why they gave him the code name Null. He's a lost number. He has no feelings and no memories. Not even a project number. Don't even think about fighting him. You can't possibly win, Snake. Hmm, you could be right about that. Or you could shoot him now, but you'll have to go through me. I'm no assassin. Shooting a soldier with her guard down isn't my style. You're a good man, Snake. I knew you were. Here, take this. It's a drug for treating chloroquine-resistant malaria. How'd you know? <laughs> It's time. Bring the tank out. I trust the readjustments are complete. Sorry. It'll just be a little longer. I'll send a man in to meet you. Hurry it up. You can get outside through here. Head for the harbor. You'll find what you're looking for there. You must be psychic or something. <laughs> One last thing, Snake. If you find Ursula in front of you, don't hesitate. Shoot her. Shoot... your sister? If you can't do that, you're already dead. Alright, next time, let's try for a more upbeat prophecy.
What the? Huh? What was that? here. Alert formation. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby.
This is HQ. This is patrol. All clear. Acknowledged. What the? Just 
my imagination. HQ! This is HQ. This is patrol. The enemy is attacking from an unknown position. Acknowledge. Uh, Keep your eyes open. What happened? What happened? What happened? The enemy's here! What happened? What the? HQ. This is HQ. This is patrol. All clear. Acknowledged. What happened? What the? HQ. This is HQ. This is patrol. The enemy is attacking from an unknown position. Acknowledge. Keep your eyes open. HQ. This is HQ. This is patrol. All clear. Acknowledged.
that? HQ. This is HQ. This is patrol. Ah! What happened? There's something wrong. Backup unit, check it out.
This is HQ. This is patrol. The enemy is attacking from an unknown position. Acknowledge. Keep your eyes open. What's that? What was that? Her? Nothing here. HQ. This is HQ. This is patrol. All clear. Understood. Return to your position. What the? Huh? What was that? HQ. This is HQ. This is patrol. Enemy sighted. Requesting backup. We can't spare any reinforcements. You'll have to make do.
HQ. This is HQ. This is patrol. We've lost sight of the enemy. Commence alert formation. Acknowledged. The enemy is still nearby. <laughs> 